crystal clear emerald waters. A spectacular archipelago of islets and islands. A sailing paradise. It's like going through the gates of sailing heaven. I don't think there is another race like this one in all the planet. First held in 1980, the Maxi Yacht Rolex Cup gathers together sailing's elite for the most significant annual meeting of the world's most powerful and fastest maxi yachts. Rolex has been partner to both the organizers, the Yacht Club Costa Smeralda and the Regatta for over three decades. Racing is keenly contested. Margins are minimal. Mistakes are ruthlessly punished. Across an exacting five days of racing, it is the most consistent crews who prevail across different classes. Often on the water, the event is renowned for professionalism, innovation, and a first-class location. An essential date on the yachting calendar, the 31st edition of the Maxi Yacht Rolex Cup commences September 5th. This is the Sailing World on Water, September 3, 2021. Here are our highlights of the sport of sailing, conducted around the world, in the last seven days. This weekend sees the start of the Maxi Yacht, Rolex Cup, conducted by the Yacht Club Costa Smeralda. Open to yachts upwards of 18.29 meters, that's 60 feet in length, the entry list features a selection of the world's fastest, most powerful, and impressive monohulls. Day 3 of the 52 Super Series in Mallorca saw bright skies and moderate wind conditions. With the breeze at a promising 12 to 15 knots on the start line it was the Platner's Phoenix which made the best opening at the pin end of the line. The RYA conducts regular courses for all facets of the sport of sailing. Two of which we feature this week. First is windsurfing for women and the other is the new sport of wingsurfing. If you are interested please contact the RYA. Stage 2 of the French solo race, La Solitaire du Figaro, known as The Lonely One, finished at Fee Camp, east of La Havre this morning. Pierre Quiroga who skippers Massif 2019, took the overall lead on the provisional general classification by 1 hour and 36 minutes. Three good races on the Bay of Palma yielded three different winners, in the 52 Super Series fleet at the 52 Super Series, Puerta Portal Sailing Week, and 20th Anniversary Invitational Regatta. For a second day in a row the wind abandoned the one sea in Berlin, Germany. Therefore the 2021, 5.5-meter German Open, at the Verin Seglerhausen one sea, was decided by a single-sailed race, the long-distance race on Friday. Following the success of Garda's most historical windsurfing race, the RRD1R Classic with more than 100 competitors, this event, the RRD1R Wingfoil Edition, will be an opportunity for everyone to challenge and experience a new unique race format on a wingfoil. With the wind blowing offshore for the one race which was sailed at the 52 Super Series, Puerta Portal Sailing Week and 20th Anniversary Invitational Tacticians, and strategists had a more challenging day than might be usually expected on the Bay of Palma. In the 52 Super Series fleet it was Adam Bischel supported by Jeremy Lomas at the back of Sled, who made the most of the opportunities on the first beat, and the team which conclusively won the Porto Servo Regatta in 2019, took their first win of the Regatta to move into second overall. Now to set it up, over to the 52 Super Series in Mallorca on day 3. Well, it's a very hot morning here in Puerto Portales, which is good news in terms of the generation of the sea breeze. An ambitious uh, challenge today. We should try to get three races in, because remember, we lost one yesterday. Top of the table, well, Quantum Racing going well, but it's incredibly tight through the table. Let's go racing. 
it's wonderful to be back here. The atmosphere here is fantastic at the venue and then with all the boats here, it's, it's really super fun. Really pleased so far, but as always, the Super Series is brutal, tough, amazing racing. We've got a weak southerly gradient that's going to increase, uh, get enhanced with the thermal sea breeze. So we should end up with uh, 10, 12 knot average, might even get three races in, who knows. First race of the day, well the sea breeze is uh, still quite unsettled, Allegri make the best start, Phoenix and Interlodge are both over the line and have to recross, but at the top mark it's Allegri who are best, Platoon and Prevetsa, well it's pretty messy for them, they get closed out and have to do turns and miss the mark, Sled gain on the uh, first run, going down the right of the run and get uh, through to lead, and it's a win for Sled, super close finish between Berenicek, Phoenix and Prevetsa on the line. Race two, well it's the pin end start, won by Phoenix this time, they jump uh, up the left side and are first at the windward mark, Brevets and Quantum this time have to take turns and are out of the uh, windward mark, upwind Phoenix hold off uh, Sled and at the finish it's Phoenix who wins Sled second, Interlodge stealing third on the finish line. Race three, well this time it's Prevetsa starting off the pin end of the line, get up the left early and lead at the top mark. Phoenix make a good start too in the mix. Prevetsa win then with a good comeback by Platoon who get to second place on the finish line. Come off the uh, start line at the pin in there, go in the direction that we wanted to go and boat going well and a little bit more breeze in that last race today and uh, managed to get around the top mark in good shape and extend nicely. Every race is a uh, game of millimetres with that it's a full on fight out there, it's fantastic racing, can't beat it. You know, we're really enjoying the racing, we haven't done any for so long and uh, coming back to us we were a little rusty on the first day and uh, yeah it's great. Standings after six races, Sled leading by one point, 22 points for Sled, Quantum Racing second on 23, Phoenix on 26, Prevetsa on 27 and Allegra also in 27 in fifth place. And then the TP52, 20th Anniversary Invitational Regatta. First is a Beaugest at the moment with five wins from five races. Second, the THA72, the Thai boat, who are on 15 points. They're two points clear of Ares Blue, who are third on 17 points. We haven't uh, lost the race yet, which is really happy about. And obviously we were very happy and excited that we won the practice race. And we just hope we can go into tomorrow and do the same. A long but productive day on the Bay of Palma with three different winners from three races. Top of the table, well, it's Sled just holding on from Quantum Racing. Now, tomorrow we've got 16 boats racing for the Invitational, celebrating 20 years of the TP52 class. Meantime, boat of the day, Phoenix. Don't forget to follow all the action live streamed from the water on all the 52 Super Series channels. everyone's it's just a giant family I think that's probably one of the best things my favorite thing is definitely going fast and like the adrenaline of it it just you just feel so free and oh, it's just amazing like I'll be going along really fast and then like my friend will go past and we'll both like smile and it's just like it's something that we can share together which is really cool Wing surfing is a cross between kite surfing and windsurfing. 
Um, you basically have an inflatable sail that you hold in your hands and you start off on a paddleboard. Lots of people are getting into paddleboarding at the moment and this is a good kind of introduction from paddleboarding into wind sports. It's not a very difficult sport to get to grips with and you can be up and independent in a few hours. So after your course, you'll be able to go up and down wind, you'll be able to cruise around by yourself, um, you will be able to buy kit and go out safely. You could do it on most beaches in the UK, anywhere where there's not too much chop, as long as they're nice and flat and calm and it's an onshore wind, then you'll be absolutely fine. If this sounds like a sport you'd be interested in, head to the RYA website and find a centre near you, get yourself booked in for a course and have fun. C'est un peu humide d'abord. Si on arrive à avoir des conditions un petit peu stables, là, à la sortie du cours et avant les îles anglo-saxonnes, et ben, j'aimerais bien pouvoir me euh, faire quelques siestes et bien manger et me changer, etc. C'est vrai que j'ai pas beaucoup pointé mon nez dehors, il est un peu frais pour le Méditerranéen que je suis. Et à un moment donné, on est retourné à terre et on y... je pensais que c'était bien et... et Pierre Piroga est un peu parti les 3000 devant nous. Hein, depuis voilà. hier, on a sorti les piolets encore pour remonter parce que une fois de plus, on n'a pas les remontées mécaniques sur cette étape. Pas mal de terrain perdu quoi donc euh, voilà j'ai plus la j'ai plus la navigation qui va bien adrena avec euh, la météo la stratégie et tout donc euh, voilà je suis un petit peu en un petit peu en galère là de, depuis depuis hier À chaque étape de la solitaire du Figaro, il faut savoir composer entre le rythme intense de la course et se reposer, mais pas toujours évident quand la bataille fait rage et que les concurrents ne sont pas très loin derrière. J'ai accepté un peu de, de lâcher la meute pour, euh, pour me reposer, j'en avais besoin, donc euh, j'ai dû faire euh, 5 ou 6 pièces de, de 20 minutes qui me, me permet d'aller pas beaucoup mieux, mais d'être plus fit au moins pour, euh, pour la journée et, et jusqu'à ce soir. Au niveau des îles anglo-normandes, les options se dessinent. Je ne comprends pas trop pourquoi ils sont tous allés à terre. Euh, Je n'ai pas la vision sur ceux qui sont peut-être très au large. Il y a un moment donné, on est retourné à terre et on y... je pensais que c'était bien. Et... et Pierre Tiroga est un peu parti, les 3000 devant nous. À chacun de trouver sa propre route pour rejoindre le port de Fécamp. Bon, ça va savoir des yeux qui piquent et des muscles qui te disent d'aller dormir. J'ai jamais eu d'étape aussi compliquée de ma vie. Entre les courants, les virements de bord, les gestions des adversaires, enfin, c'était un cumul de tout ce qu'un qu marin doit savoir faire. C'était sur cette étape et, euh, et je suis étonné euh, pour le moment, mais euh, vraiment ravi de, de l'avoir emporté euh, d'aussi belle manière. Arrivé là, fait quand euh, au petit matin C'était beau d'apercevoir les falaises en fait, ça fait super longtemps que je n'étais pas venu là. Et... Ah non, non, oh là. <rire> C'est satisfaisant d'être constant devant, maintenant euh, j'aimerais bien en gagner une au moins quand même.
C'est ce que vous entendez pas tous les jours, je pense, un podium sur une solitaire. Enfin, en tout cas, c'est pas un truc facile à faire. Donc, je me suis battu là, mètre par mètre, pour la garder. Et, et voilà, je suis trop, 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 trop content. vraiment être dessus sur les réglages sur la sur le placement savoir un peu faut faire des petites siestes mais il y a eu très peu de temps pour dormir mais non tout ça c'était c'est du bon travail là je suis content de moi ouais. <rire> je suis contente que j'ai fini dans les premiers paquets à peu près mais aussi je sais que je peux faire mieux donc il y a encore des choses à à faire des petits bêtises à régler. A big and exciting day for the TP52 class here at the 20th anniversary Invitational. We're going to have 16 boats on the start line from uh, 2005 to 2018 years of build. Uh, lots of different sailors from uh, 12 different nations I think were represented today. It's going to be all about having fun, so let's cut into action. The main idea is to keep improving and today it's a special day because we will sail all together between the boat from the Super Series and the IRC boat. It's a big pleasure to be part of this kind of regatta, it's awesome. I purchased the boat to, to have fun. We're still learning. I'm trying not to be the last one. <laughs> <laughs> it's all together, so it will be for sure we're going to be funny. Condition looks good, so just go out and do it. We are sad in this moment that we hope to fight for uh, maybe second. It's going to be, I think, one of the best sailing day uh, looking at the breeze. Obviously, the 52, they have an edge on us on the speed should have anywhere from 13 to 17 knots later in the day. It's good to see this amount of boats on one start line today, so we're really looking forward to it. But today is to uh, really challenge ourselves in a few different boats, kind of get out of the traditional Super Series mindset, but still race hard with a lot of new friends. A little bit more sea breeze for the 20th anniversary section of the regatta. Two standalone races and off the start line will Quantum get away very nicely. There is the uh, left-hander, a long uh, lift in the middle right of the course and Quantum get hooked into that early and then they really are launched for a big lead which they extend all the way through the race and a big win for Quantum. Platoon stealing the uh, second place from uh, a little bit of a mix-up with uh, Chio coming through for third. Second race of the day, slightly less breeze on the start line. A good start from Quantum. Prevets and Brennan are set down at the pin. Uh, early on it looks uh, like Quantum, but the left this time is uh, slightly stronger. Brennan and set come across and lead the race. Uh, Prevets are, are up there. Chio also going well on the left in the early part of the uh, upwind. Brennan and Sek and Prevets get a lovely lift into the top mark uh, and are first and second. Down the run, the lead changes between Brennan and Sek and Prevets. Brennan and Sek do come out on top and extend very slightly to win the race. We were amazed to see that we can even have a good race. This is an amazing circuit. We enjoy a lot of being invited here and, and be able to race with them. It was so fun to be out there. All the boats out there uh, sailing together. Conditions were beautiful. It's a fun day to go sailing. We're always looking for friends to go sailing with, and so well, hopefully they can. Uh, some of them will consider uh, being part of the Super Series in the future as well. On this day only, it's about uh, handicap racing. Uh, corrected time in this 20th anniversary section of the regatta. Quantum Racing come away with a one and three to win uh, this uh, day. Four points. Second is Aries Blue with a second and a fifth for seven points, and they just edge Chio also in seven points, but they get third. Well, it was a day of celebration for the TP52 class, a day of celebration to enjoy the Bay of Palma at its very best, and uh, boats from different generations, all the way from 2005 through to the latest TP52s, all racing together in a fantastic fleet, and great to see two different race winners in Brunner Second Quantum Racing, but the Invitational Box getting on the podium and really enjoying their day too. So a good day was had by all.
So we are here after more than a year racing again in uh, Wannsee, Berlin. And uh, when we find out in the setting instructions, it says that we're going to start with a long distance race today. First race, one race, two hours. So I was quite excited. And uh, no idea of which marks to take really and uh, what the wind was going to do. So we uh, started the day like that. We kind of like all had a pretty good start all heading to the first mark which was a bit of confusion on which one it was and so we eventually all found it and the race almost started at zero again and then it was a long upwind and then some big part just came past the race course and it split the, the, the fleet actually to the left and to the right we were lucky to uh, have a little bit of longer angle and some fresh wind and we would actually open the angle on the barge and the guys uh, left of it, they were closing it so they had to take off and that hurt them and benefited us so we could separate a little bit of the fleet and then we had a, a nice battle with uh, Morty, with girls on films, with his new boat which is great to see and uh, in the end we managed to pull away covering him a little bit as well and uh, got, a, got a win, so good way to start the series. Yeah, well, so uh, first race um, together since the Worlds in, in Sydney for us. Um, we had a pretty bad start, like, like which brand new boat, um, brand new design, brand new everything and, and, and we kind of stalled the boat at the start which was which was interesting um, and uh, just got a bit slow and, and uh, sort of parked it. We're a little behind but luckily for us everyone kind of went to the, well the leading boats went to the wrong mark and, and that gave us a, an avenue back into the race and then from there we had a really good battle with New Moon um, and we were quite happy with our speed in this light air. Um, boat's not really designed for the light stuff but we, we were hanging in just fine so um, uh, yeah you know it, it was um, it was a good day and, and yeah sort of funny old racetrack happy to walk away with a, a second place um, and, and uh, yeah looking forward to some more light wind racing and in this beautiful location over the next couple of days. A super exciting finale expected on the water here in Puerto Portales today. We've got Sled leading by just a single point from Quantum Racing and only seven points between first and sixth. Really, it's anybody's regatta. We go on the water expecting two races. The land breeze, the Mistral breeze from the north, is fighting with what we expect to be a sea breeze. So it's going to be quite unsettled, quite challenging and quite shifty for the big finale.
two races all to play for. So you can win the regatta or you can come towards the bottom. Having poor results really motivates this team. So it's fun after a bad day to go out and see what this team can do. We're happy that we're in a position to win the regatta going into the last day, but we're not looking at that as much as trying to do all the little things right and really constantly embracing our boat and not looking at the scoreboards. Game plan today is just to go out, have a good first race, and then take it from there. You know, the guys are doing well, boats going well through the water, so looking for another good day. It's tight. Pretty good chance that whoever wins the day will probably win the regatta. Direction and velocity is going to change at some point during the day. And Maria's going to have her hands full, but hopefully two good races. Well, we start in the northerly offshore breeze. It's quite tricky, quite shifty, and a good start from Quantum Racing. Sled, the regatta leaders are out the back. They have a poor start, and it's looking bad for them until the racing has to be cancelled because the breeze drops and becomes very, very shifty. And that was to Sled's advantage. They win the 52 Super Series Puerto Portal Sailing Week regatta for the first regatta of 2021. It's Sled who win by a single point from Quantum Racing. We came to win the event and um, we did a little bit too much damage to ourselves on day three, um, but we got a lot better out of that day. You know, hats off to sled, they sailed well. First of the season and our second one for uh, I think six or seven or eight years. It's great to have a great result. It's a shame Mr. Okura is not here to uh, enjoy it with us. We know he's back in Japan uh, watching us uh, every step of the way, so it's a great result for the team. So the final standings in the Puerto Portals, 52 Super Series Sailing Week, top of the table, Sled then winning on 22 points, second Quantum Racing on 23, third Phoenix on 26 points. Unbeaten over the course of the regatta and gaining redress because of the incident which happened during the 20th anniversary Invitational uh, Racing Day, it's Beau Geste who come out on top of the IRC section. Appropriately for an owner, Carl Kwok, who's been a long-time supporter of the TP52 class and whose history goes right back to the very early days. Pretty special week for us. Um, you know, we didn't plan on sailing this year. We thought with everything happening in the world, but um, Carl Kwok wanted both to be part of this fantastic event, celebrating the 20 years of the class. It's just fantastic that the organisers invited all the IRC boats to be part of this. So the final points for the TP52 20th Anniversary Invitational. Top of the table is Beau Geste on 7 points. Second is Eras Blue on 20 points. And third, Chio on 21. Great week here in Puerto Portales in Mallorca. Back in business with the 52 Super Series. Join us in Mahon, Mallorca for the second regatta. <laughs> <laughs>